I've been asked multiple times, if I'm going to start my career today, what would be my certification journey? The answer will always vary, you know, which specialization that you or I would prefer. You have to take note, there are many specializations. We have networking, server and virtualization, cloud, DevOps, etc. In cybersecurity alone, there are already several specializations. I actually talked about it in this video, best cybersecurity roles and specialization. And seriously, a lot of people didn't even know that. They just know cybersecurity career. And some people are like suggesting one of the best certification for cybersecurity is CISSP. It's not a good thing to just listen and follow these ideas, you know? Sure, CISSP is one of the best cybersecurity certification, but it's not for newbies. It requires five years of experience. So it's better to take three or even more other certification first. Gain at least five years experience before thinking about taking CISSP. So in this video, I will reveal my top five best IT certification strategy and phases if you're going to start your career in the IT industry. With this certification roadmap, you can be a network engineer, cloud engineer, Dev DevOps engineer, and of course, cybersecurity specialist. You can never go wrong. This IT certification plan is also for the three best security specializations that I mentioned in this video. Think of this as your learning and career preparation alternative versus going to college. Um, well, this is not a complete college replacement, but later think about it. Which one is better, two years in college or this certification strategy? And as usual, comment below and shout out your location. Like nice video, Dean, from Senegal, Jordan, Netherlands. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city, like from San Francisco, Santiago, Karachi, etc. The very first certification to prepare and take is Linux, definitely. So Linux before DevOps, Linux before cloud, Linux before security related certifications. So yeah, Go learn Linux first. We already talked about the comparison in this video and which is the best Linux certifications for junior, associate, or admin level. Well, it's gotta be CompTIA Linux Plus. How about other Linux certification options? The detailed discussions why we chose Linux Plus in these two videos. But just to summarize why Linux so, except for help desk or software quality assurance testers or QA testers, most IT careers expect you will be working a lot with servers. There are also cases where you will work with tools such as DevOps or security. So whether you are working with servers or tools, most of these runs in Linux. So CompTIA Linux Plus, our first certifications. I'm going to give this difficulty level of uh, 2.5 out of 5. The cost of the certification is 360, uh, 369 US dollars. Our second certification goes to CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate. So why CCNA? Well, first, most job related positions, you will see a lot of CCNA requirements. And no, CCNA is not a legacy certification because networking is always relevant. And you may not work directly with routers and switches in your day-to-day -day operations, but having a good network fundamentals where you can build your own infrastructure with routing, switching, NAT, VPN is something that you will always carry in various roles. Whatever you specialize in your career, networking, cloud, security, and even DevOps, Networking will always be the foundation that ties everything together. Okay, so difficulty level. I will give this uh, 3.5 out of 5. It can be a little more, it can be 4, but I will stick with 3.5. The cost of this exam is 300 US dollars. 
Our third certification, I will give this to F5CA or F5 Certified Administrator in Big IP. Here's the reason why. So you have a CCNA knowledge already, but this only focuses on campus or enterprise, which means it focuses on office networks related to wireless, related to laptops, related to mobile devices, etc. Not really related to servers. So if you want to know more about servers and networking, and how can you bridge your CCNA level knowledge to the cloud, it's going to be F5CA Big IP. So think about this. CCNA focuses on routers and switches, while F5CA Big IP focuses on application load balancers and web services. Now, I'm going to rate this certification. Um, I'm going to give this difficulty level of 3.5 out of five. Same with CCNA. It's got to be a little easier after you pass your CCNA because you already have a good networking fundamentals. The cost of this exam is 250 US dollars. It's a total of five exams, 50 US dollars each. Fourth certification goes to, well, I will give this to AWS. Yeah, we'll be focusing now to the cloud. In this era, you need to learn cloud technologies. And assuming you're done with the three certifications, you already have Linux, CCNA, and FI Big IP knowledge, this prepares you to understand cloud infrastructure, networking, and load balancing fundamentals. And these are key components in designing, deploying, and securing scalable cloud solutions. So in this fourth spot, I will be combining two AWS certifications. These are AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner and AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. There is a reason why you need to get these two certifications. But first, I'm going to give the difficulty level. So the first certification, the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, I will give this 1.5 out of 5. Yeah, it's not really difficult. As a matter of fact, it is quite easy. And for the next certification, AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate, I will give this same difficulty level of CCNA and F5 Big IP, excuse me, F5 CA in Big IP. It can be three, uh, especially if you are already CCNA and F5 CA Big IP. But yeah, I will keep the 3.5. The cost of AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner is 100 USD. But every time you take and pass any AWS certification, you would get 50% discount on your next exam. So the next exam, AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate, the original cost is 150 US dollars, but it will now be discounted to 75 USD. So imagine two exams, total cost is just 175 US dollars. Once you complete these two certifications and the first three certifications, you have now a good foundations for on-prem, cloud, and hybrid cloud environment. Last one. This would be a combination of two certificates. I don't want you to go straight taking CompTIA Security Plus. It would be a good idea if you first take Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate first. Note that this curriculum is for super beginner. Google Cybersecurity Certificate is not your typical certification exam. You pay $49 US and you will have access to the course curriculum that you need to complete. There is no formal exam. It's just training materials with quizzes in every module. So once you complete the course, you get a certificate badge. And this will not only prepare you for CompTIA Security Plus exam, you will also get a discount voucher. Both Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate and CompTIA Security Plus covers foundational cybersecurity concepts such as threat detection, network security, risk management, incident response, and basic security tools. How about the difficulty level? I will give Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate 1.5 out of 5. For CompTIA Security Plus, um, Originally, it can be 3.5 out of 5. However, assuming you already have Linux Plus, ECNA, F5CA, and AWS certifications, and of course, Google Cybersecurity Certificate, 
With all of those knowledge, it would be an easy three. How about the cost? The Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate, the cost is the uh, access per month. So it's 49 US dollars access per month. For two months, it would be a total of 98 USD. So I highly recommend you to just complete the course in just one month. Okay, so it would be uh, just 49 US dollars for you to get a certificate. It's a total of 90 to 100 hours. So you have to allocate three hours per day for you to complete it in just one month. The cost for CompTIA Security Plus, so think of this, it's originally 392 USD. But after you pass or after passing Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate, you would get 30% discount and it would only cost you 274 USD. This five certification strategy is really for the second and the best cybersecurity rules and specialization. So spoiler alert, the second best is cloud and application security engineer or cloud and application security architect. And the best is security solutions engineer or security solutions architect. This is the reason why we have two vendors, Cisco and F5. This is also the reasons why we have uh, cloud certifications, AWS. Now for the third best role, which is SOC engineer or SOC analyst, you definitely have to change this plan. I will keep Linux plus. Yeah. Uh, let's keep CCNA as well. I will move Google Cybersecurity Certificate and CompTIA Security Plus on third. And on the fourth, let's drop AWS. And we'll replace this with CCNA Cybersecurity. It used to be called Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Associate, but yeah, new certification name is CCNA Cybersecurity. Uh, difficulty level, I will give this four out of five, a little more difficult than CCNA. But like CCNA, the cost is also 300 US dollars. Now for the fifth, we'll go for security blue team level one, which is a little different as all certifications that I mentioned are multiple choice written exam. But for security blue team level one or BTL one is a hands-on practical type of an exam. The difficulty level I would go or I will give this four out of five. The cost is 399 British pounds or equivalent to 547 USD. This includes training materials and two exam attempts.